We stand on a hilltop in a circle of stone beneath the stars and the heavens. Hello everyone and welcome back to Wednesday here on The Pagan Perspective. I'm your host Eric and this week we are talking about what God is. With the spirits and our voices rising higher and higher. So this week we have a topic from 77GPL, and it's really long, so I'm going to sum up. Basically, they want to know how we see deity, what we believe it is. Is it physical? Is it abstract? Is it ethereal? Is it in everything? Is it an energy? Is it an actual being? That kind of stuff. What do we personally understand or believe God is? So rather than going through this entire, you know, short story of of what they believe, you know, the basic three concepts are, I'm just going to go straight into what I believe. Now you have to understand very much like Kara said yesterday, uh, this is my opinion and my belief and my understanding. If you don't agree, you're perfectly welcome to disagree. I may have some of you looking at me like I'm some kind of ass at the end of this, but this is how I feel and this is what I believe. So, to jump straight into it, I believe that God is not a thing. I believe that God in general or gods in general are not what most people believe or understand them to be. That is my opinion. I believe personally that gods are... Very much as Yucca said, and she touched on this quite well in her video on Monday, that gods or the concept of gods are anthropomorphizations. That's a hard word to say. I had to try it four or five times. But anthropomorphizations of you know plants and living matter and the universe as a whole that we don't understand. So that so we use we use things that we do understand to try and quantify them in our own heads. There are things that are beyond, at this point, quantum physics that, you know, the, the greatest minds on Earth can't figure out. Many people attribute that to, you know, quote-unquote, God. And although I don't see a problem with that because there isn't any sort of evidence to, you know, to, to prove the contrary, it's one of those things where it... It really is kind of, it, it's kind of a, a, it should be a last ditch effort. Now that's, that's one way that I see deity is it is us bestowing human-like characteristics onto things that have no human characteristics, uh, you know, via plants, animals, universal ideas, um, you know, social constructs that would otherwise just be, you know, unjustifiable or unquantifiable. Now, the second part of this is I believe that very much the gods, and this includes all of them, are uh, the, the best and worst of humanity's uh, archetypes. The archetypes of gods are what we want to be, what we should try to attain in ourselves and what we should be trying to live up to in ourselves and as a society and as a human race uh you know the, the things where all the best parts of the gods is what we should try to be like and all of the worst parts of the gods is what we should use as an example of what not to do now, this seems like a really, really simplified version of things, and I do love the mythology, and I do love to venerate the mythology and the gods as as they're seen by most people. That doesn't make me feel like a hypocrite or a sacrilegious ass, but some of you are going to see me that way, and I completely understand. I feel that the the idea and the archetypes, the psychological archetypes that we're trying to achieve by venerating the gods is a good thing to venerate good behavior and and you know altruistic uh, tendencies and ideals is something that i feel we should all strive to live up to and to achieve so venerating the gods even in a, an anthropomorphic 
you know, state of an actual being or talking about it being any of the gods being an actual being, go for it. I do it uh, more than more than occasionally, but when it comes right down to brass tacks, I don't believe that there is a man in the clouds or even on a different plane of existence or on an ethereal plane of, you know, whatever, watching us and waiting to see if we mess up so that we can, you know, live a happy life after this one. It's one of those things where gods are something to look up to and to strive to be. And I know I've said that at least three times so far in this video, but it's it's one of those things that I'm very adamant about. It's not that I expect that God is going to come down and destroy my life or change my luck or make my life better or worse for doing certain things. I expect that as a reaction to the actions I take. So, you know, just more more solid, um, I, I can't say proof, but more solid examples of when you do good things, good things happen. That's me trying to be like those archetypes and those those altruistic ideals that I have that I try to become making my life better in repercussion. So uh, when it when it comes to, you know, does God have a nucleus? Yes, it is the human mind and the human understanding. Does God have substance only in social constructs and only in in not necessarily religious terms but only in social arenas where people agree to agree on what god is and what god is not so does god need man yes does man need god kind of and yes but when it comes strictly to it no no humans don't need gods I mean, ask any atheist, I mean, true, honest atheist, and they will tell you that God is an unnecessary construct. I happen to disagree because common, you know, a lot of common people need a God in their life to look up to for protection, for guidance, for things like that. If that's what you're using God for and as, more power to you, and I am a little jealous of that sometimes. But I can't wrap my ra my my ragged little head around it, and uh, you know that's that's kind of how I see it. So yes, God needs us. We, as a general population, need gods, but individually, I don't think that's an absolutely necessary thing. And you know, if you have any more questions or comments or concerns about my views on gods, or God, gods, goddesses, all of the above and how I feel about those constructs and in more specific detail. If you have any questions for me, feel free to post any of those comments or video responses. Um, we love to see those on the Pagan Perspective. We, we like to see your faces uh, when you're giving us your opinions, and we do like to see your opinions. So feel free to leave all of those in the comment section below or a video response. Thanks for watching this, everybody, and of course, until next time, Odin be with you. So we stand on a hilltop in a circle of stone Beneath the stars and the heavens and the mysteries unknown And we sweat to the drum beats as we dance round the fire With the flames and our passions rising higher and higher With the spirits and our voices rising higher and higher